also Vin says, when Chira came out of the vehicle and was making a lot of noise, he was a little bit, you know, messy, he left and went back to Jawak. And this guy says again that uh, Chira, was, Chira took off the motorbike. Remember he said that Chira was so drunk that he could not even step on a motorbike. Now he's saying, Zelek Momani is saying that, that Chira took off. How do you take off while you are completely drunk? You cannot even stand on your own. I was like, ah, first degree murderer must be the alleged one and this is it. Chira, because Chira is extremely drunk, where to? see yeah yeah so i was like uh, <laughs> you guys you think everyone is a fool okay continue so they continued lying and lying on media then appears another guy who is now the leg the leg also in his statement says that jira asked for a uh, for, for for help and then he took him the opposite direction so you are helping someone that you claimed you know but you took them to the opposite direction rather than their home. What do you mean, bro? That is when I connected the dots. So Zelek, Mumani, and Vin, it is the same person who doesn't know where Chira lives. You get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm following. Uh You said that you le uh, you left Chira on the road. That is Zelek Momani. Yeah. And and also Vin says, when Chira came out of the vehicle and was making a lot of noise, he was a little bit, you know, messy. He left and went back to Jawak. And this guy says again that uh, Chira was Chira took off the motorbike. Remember, he said that Chira was so drunk that he could not even step on a motorbike. Now he's saying, Zelek Momani is saying that, that Chira took off. How do you take off while you are completely drunk? You cannot even stand on your own. I was like, ah, first degree murderer must be the alleged one and this is it. Because your own story is according to what you're saying and you're the one who are a little bit sober that you are offering a lift. And this is what you're saying, bro. Tell us. Now, funny thing even happened. There are ladies who are on TikTok and then they invited Zalek. So Zalek made a mistake of sending them a picture. A picture that has not been seen by anyone. And he argues that this picture, it is only him and the police officer that has it that is on the scene of murder or a scene of accident, according to him. So when we looked at the picture, Remember, Chira was having a green, green brownish jacket, jacket yeah. and he had shoes on. So this picture that Zelek Momani takes uh, forgets. Let me check if I can uh, show you here. Forgets that Chira had a jacket. Where is the jacket? So even in that picture, Chira does not have jacket. Worse enough, he doesn't even have shoes. So we are like, wait, bro. <laughs> nice to meet you, but... Uh, where is the jacket? Who was trying to get into the pockets of Brian Chira? Uh, kindly explain that. Where are the shoes? Why is it that you are saying his uh, the the counters, you know, like ran over him and there is no single scratch? You mad or what? The guy disappeared very fast. And uh, the comment he gave next was, my girlfriend has said that I should not continue answering the questions. Uh -huh. And that is how he he, he he ran, disappeared. I want to share with you the image that is uh, shared. And also remember, some time back, when Babati was explaining to people of what had occurred, yeah. he also said the same thing. It is only me and the police that have that picture, that picture yeah. of the scene. Yeah. Can we draw the triangle now? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the police is constant. Okay, in this case, the police is constant. Mm -hmm. But the two variants is Babatalisha and Zalek Momani. 
who have the same picture as the constant police officer. Yeah. So the question is, then, since Babati was not on the site when it happened, he claimed to have been at Mount Longonot. So who sent him the picture? Is it the police officer or, or Zelek Norman? But if it was the police officer, then I don't believe there is a time when a police officer operates on their own alone. Mm -hmm. So the question comes again. Then where are the lights? Let me show you the picture first. Let me show you the picture. Let me show you the picture that... Uh, how I do it on the camera? This... Oh, this is my thing. Okay, so I want to tell you... Forgive me for hiding here because it's that it's very sensitive, but I just have to hide up to here. So this is the picture. I hope you guys can see it. Yeah. So as you can see, the pocket, it's like somebody was getting into his pockets and trying to get something. Yeah. Then if you see the hand here, these are these are what we call triceps muscles. These are the muscles behind your your hand. You can see clearly the cloth is pushed backwards. So this means somebody was carrying Chira and trying to place them here through these angles, even the group here. So somebody was carrying Chira and trying to press them here. So my question is, who was carrying Chira? Does this look like a counter has passed over this guy? Then we went even further to try to brighten the image because it was in total darkness. There was no shoes. So where is the jacket and the shoes? Then, if this was a police officer, remember this is the one that I have brightened. It was so dark. Mm -hmm. So we were asking uh, the questions again to Zelek Momani. Okay, we we are not disputing what you are saying. Probably you are right or in your own, uh, you know, in your own eyewitnessing. But the question is again, bro. So you mean the police officers came in the darkness, and the the lights of the vehicle? The siren, anything, there was nothing. Mm -hmm. And why is it that you took a picture in total darkness? Ah, bro. So the vehicle came and it was it was in the middle of the night and the vehicle did not, you know, the lights were not on. So it means one thing. There is one corrupt officer here, if there is existing anyone, that helped these two guys to try and cover up this one. And remember also, when Baba Talisha decided to read uh, that which we call, uh, what did he call it? The post-mortem report. Um, yeah. He never read the traffic police report. He was just like, uh, I, hate, I, hate, I hate when I talk to someone and someone does this. Sasa nyinyi watu mulikuwa mnanuliza kuhusu Yo, mambo ya postmortem, postmortem, dio hii, dio hii hapa na dio hii nataka kwaonyesha. Hii hapa, hii ni stamp ya, ni stamp ya traffic police officer. Hii hapa ni stamp ya, hii ni stamp ya, ya mochari. Na hii ni stamp ya pathologist. So guys, dio hii, you can see for yourself, you can see, you can. Get serious bro, just get serious for a minute, you know. I was... What is this? What is he doing? I was so much pissed off. Trust me. I was so much pissed off that I left that life. Because you're talking to me and you're swinging. You know, the moment you start swinging the chair, that means that you're not serious. Yeah. So he read something very small. And the, actually, the papers were folded like this. <laughs> so he said, uh, you can see here is RT1. There is nothing like RT1 in reporting of a pathologist about an accident. It's RTI, which means road traffic incidents. So one, what does one mean? We don't know. You know? So again, it is very illegal for an individual, even a family member can be sued to come and read a pathologist's report to the public without the consent of the family. Remember, Babati was just a fundraiser, not a family member. But he chose to take that to, to another level, becoming a family member, went to pick the, 
<laughs> the pathologist report, what they call a postmortem, came and read it to people in the middle of the night. It was around 12, by the way. I was like, bro, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. Stop this. Just to, in fact, I spoke to him in lawyer. Hello. Mm -hmm. I spoke to him in lawyer. Uh, John Tana Sema Utachoka to Yan. Nitachoka Kama Mefanya the best. Wewe, Bakia comment section. Bro, that is where you belong. Don't block him. That is where he belongs. At our box. You have to comment on what we do. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I was okay. like, something is not adding up. Something is totally wrong. So we've started joining dots and everything is going as as they planned, but unfortunately they started selling out each other. So Muiti, I think, is not given a good share. He comes and runs out and calls Babatalisha all sorts of names because simply Babatalisha played an audio he claimed to have recorded, and there is a lady who claimed that actually Prince Muiti was on the site during that specific day. And Prince Muti hearing this, he came, ranted things, said many things, of which tomorrow he was on his knees trying to apologize. Why was he apologizing? Because Malisafi came in and uh, tried to save the day for MC Extian and MC Chris together with Baba Talisha.